Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I've done a number of music poster tutorials ranging from a wide gamut of music genres and styles. Now, I'll show you how to include one more for indie rock. Open a photo you'd like to use for your poster. Then, create a new document by going to File and New. Type in 1280 by 720 pixels and a resolution of 150 pixels per inch. Open back up your photo. To get it into your new blank document, press V to open your Move tool, click on your image, and drag it up onto the tab of your blank document. Without releasing your mouse or pen, drag it down and then release. To resize your photo, press Ctrl or Command T to open your Transform tool. To see the entire transform on your screen, press Ctrl or Command-0. Click inside the transform to move it. Go to a corner, and when you see a straight double arrow, press and hold Shift and Alt on a PC, or Shift and Option on a Mac, and drag it in or out. To rotate it, go to a corner, and when you see a curved double arrow, rotate it clockwise or counterclockwise. When you're happy with its angle, position, and size, press Enter or Return. To fit it back onto your screen, press Control or Command-0. If you have empty areas, open your lasso tool and draw selections around them. To add a selection, press and hold Shift as you draw it. Go to Edit and Fill. Choose Content Aware, then click OK. To delete the selections, press Ctrl or Command D. We'll merge the layers by pressing Ctrl or Command E. Make a copy of it by pressing Ctrl or Command J. Remove all the color by pressing Ctrl or Command Shift U. Make a copy of this layer and name it Grain. Name the other layer Diffuse Glow. Click off the eyeball to hide the grain layer and go to Filter and Filter Gallery. Open the Distort folder and click Diffuse Glow. For this photo, the graininess is 10, the glow amount is 15, and the clear amount is 6. For your photo, experiment with these numbers as well as for the next filter we'll be applying to get just the right look you want. Make the grain layer visible and active. Go back to Filter Gallery and this time open the Texture folder and click Grain. I'll make the Intensity 55, the Contrast 0, and the Grain Type Stippled. We'll blur it slightly. Go to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. Blur it by 0.5 pixels. I'll reduce the opacity to 70%. We're ready to add the text. Open your Type Tool and choose a font. I'm using DS Net Stamped. If you'd like to use it, you can download it from the link I provided in the video's description or project files. I'll use a point size of 130, sharp, and left alignment. Click the color box and pick a color. Then click OK. Type out your text. To reposition it, open your Move tool and move it. To rotate it, use your Transform tool. Then press Enter or Return to accept it. Click on the FX button and choose Drop Shadow. The Blend Mode is Multiply, the color is black, the opacity is 100%, and the angle is 120 degrees. The distance is 28 pixels, 
and the size is 14 pixels. Since the name of the band has two words in it, I'll make a copy of the text and drag it away from the original. I'll press T on my keyboard to open my type tool, highlight the text, and type in the second word. I'll open my move tool to reposition it and call up the transform tool to rotate it to an angle I like. I want to change the angle of the drop shadow on the second word so I'll double click on drop shadow, uncheck global light and make the angle minus 118 degrees. Let's set the text for the venue, address, date, and time. Open your type tool and click on your document. This time I'll use impact label whose link I also provided. The point size is 22 and since my background is mostly black I'll temporarily pick white for the color since I want to be able to see it clearly on the black background. Type out your text and go to Layer, Rasterize, and Type. Now invert it by pressing Control or Command I. Control click or Command click on the thumbnail to make a selection of the shape of the text. Invert the selection by pressing Control or Command Shift I. Invert the foreground and background colors by clicking on the curved double arrow or by pressing X on your keyboard. Now white is our foreground color. Open your pencil tool and choose a relatively small point size with a hardness of a hundred percent. Now draw over your text. If you accidentally draw outside the rectangular shape press Z to undo your last continuous stroke. Delete the selection and open your move tool to reposition it. If you feel that it's sticking a bit as you move it, go to view and make sure snap is not checked. If it is, just click on it to uncheck it. To angle it, use your transform tool. Open your type tool again to set the next lines of text. Repeat the steps that you did for the first line. Rasterize it, reposition it, and angle it. Invert it, make a selection of its shape, invert the selection, open your pencil tool, and draw over the text with white. Then delete the selection. I want the date and time to be bigger than the venue so I'll click on my document, type out the text, highlight it, and slide the size icon to the right to increase the size. You can also type it in. Repeat the steps you did for your other text, including the time your band will be performing. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.